and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and thank you very much for joining me again today. It's been a very, very busy day in terms of the Wolves because three players have left the club and that's where we're going to start. We're going to come to the pre-season tour a little bit later on in the video. First and probably the biggest uh, departure today has been John Daddy Bodvarsson who's joined Reading on a three-season, three-year deal. Uh, he played 48 times for Wolves, only scoring three of goals and if you consider that two of those came last August not the prolific striker that we signed him to be considering that he played for Iceland on the right wing he never played a game for Wolves in that position and never really got to show his full potential and then when Nua Dicko came back he was sort of shoved to one side which was a shame really because I think the two of them together as a partnership would have been interesting to see a little bit more than we did see it a couple of times um, but he did provide a great post-match ritual, which of course we'll miss. Ethan Ebanks Landell has joined MK Dons on a season-long loan, which is um, a deal that I would have preferred him to have stayed with Sheffield United and been challenged a little bit more in the Championship. But of course, they've just signed Richard Stearman. And another defender has left the club, again on a season-long loan, and that's Dominic Iorfa, a story that... I've been talking about it for a few weeks. He was left out of the tour, so there's speculation. He put up an Instagram picture the other day of his boot full of suitcases. And he's left to go to Ipswich on loan for the season. He's talked about uh, how Mick McCarthy persuaded him to come to the club, uh, saying that he can offer him various positions across the back four and that he can offer him, you know, a uh, fast right winger if they want to play with 3-5-2 or if they or a solid centre back if they want to play with 4-4-2. I don't know uh, with Dominic Oyofa he's not really shown his potential over the last couple of years with Wolves. Hopefully this move for him will enable him to play a lot more games, put a lot more effort in, new surroundings, fresh people playing with him may give him some enthusiasm and improve him as a footballer because he has got considerable potential but we haven't seen that over the last couple of years, which is a, a real shame. Uh, and the final bit of news in terms of going out is that Leeds are reportedly still interested in signing Danny Bart and Matt Doherty. And there's considerable uh, talk about those two players. But they're both in Austria at the moment, both played the game or part of the game on Wednesday. It'll be interesting to see if those deals do happen. In terms of coming in... With Bod Varson going out, that has just intensified the rumours for a striker to come in. Now, the reports today have suggested that Nelson Oliveira from Norwich City is going to come in. He's a Mendes client, a Portuguese player. But quite a good season for Norwich last season. I know they're quite fond of him down there. Um, he scored 11 goals last season, which is not mass, you know, not really, really good. But if you consider that we'd be offering him a little bit more supply through the midfield and the wingers that we've got, Maybe coming to a club like Wolves would be a good move for him. Now, there have been con contradicting reports on Twitter and on various media outlets this afternoon to suggest whether or not the deal is going through. William Hill tweeted, I'm not sure whether this is true or it's been photoshopped, but William Hill apparently have stopped taking bets on him because they believe that the deal is done. But then other official media outlets have said that there is no deal on the table at the moment. So that would be interesting to see. I'm recording this at half past five. There have been so many deals that have gone through today. Possibly this is another one uh, and this video will be too late for it, but we'll see. Come to pre-season. I was not able to watch the game on Wednesday because of working, um, but I've seen lots of the highlights and a few of the clips and we seem to be playing quite attractive and good football. So it is a great result to beat a team like Werder Bremen, who are you know a first division team, top half the table most times. Uh, so that was good. Uh, it was interesting to see the formation playing a 3-4-3 with Douglas and I believe Doherty started the game at right back. Getting up and down and joining that, that midfield and bolstering that. Uh, so that was quite good to see. Interesting as well to see Connor Cody playing at centre back. Apparently he was very, very vocal which was emphasised in, in an empty uh, stadium. And that's what we've lacked uh, over the last year or so at the back. We've lacked a leader. We had it when Mike Williamson played, but Danny Bart isn't really a vocal captain or vocal defender, so possibly that could be a role that Cody plays quite a lot this season as well. Reports suggested that uh, Jack Price played quite well as well in the centre of midfield. We only saw a little cameo from Neves at the end, but 
Tim Spears talking about his performance said that some of the passes were amazing from him. The way that he whipped the ball in quite low and fast, which was impossible to defend against. If we can have that in the championship, that would be great as well. Another note, uh, the Barry Douglas, of course, playing and didn't really have a lot of opportunities to show off his left foot. From what I've seen, a particular corner that came in that Willy Bolly should have scored from, the way that he whipped it in was incredible. And if we can make use of that dead ball situation a lot more than we have done over the last few years, we could be seeing something dangerous. And a little bit of injury news to end on, I'm afraid. Uh, ben Marshall is now out for three months with a thigh injury. So that right wing that looked so strong a couple of weeks ago has now lost another member because Costa, Helder Costa, had a operation, a quite successful operation by the sound of it, and the length of time that he's expected to be out has decreased from three months down to between six and ten weeks. So let's hope it's the six weeks rather than ten and he'll be back then by the end of September, ready, fully fit then after the international break in October perhaps. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry there hasn't been much this week, but there will be in the coming weeks, so make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you to everybody who has been liking and subscribing. Check out the links in the description down below about giving blood and helping to cure leukemia by signing up for the Bone Marrow Register. If you've been following the Wolves Twitter account as well, you'd have seen lots and lots of uh, support for Carla Kimi, so let's show it in our own way by signing up and giving blood and the sign up for the Bone Marrow Register. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Do you have to take it from so high up? Yeah, he's going to get his coffee.